Hi, Jake Thunslat here, and I wanted to show you some of the recent modifications I've made to the RepRap Prusa Mendel 3D printer that I just built. This was a pretty typical Prusa Mendel build. I used stainless steel threaded rod and stainless steel hardware, which increased the cost a little bit, but everything else was pretty much standard. I do like the stainless steel threaded rod. It seems to have a, um, a nice smooth surface finish and everything moves smoothly. One of the first things I printed were the spool holders. Um, they're printed with PLA and they take up nearly the whole bed width and uh, that was where I learned about the importance of getting the bed leveled just right. And I used the classic spring method at each corner and then um, use some uh, Boston clips to hold a piece of glass down. Uh, the glass provides a nice flat surface but this uh, uh, mirror tile that I found at the dump isn't quite flat enough. The, the right hand side in the middle dips down a few thousandths of an inch and this does cause some issues with some prints. If I'm printing usually just in the very center there's no problem but some of the larger prints I've done heal up a little bit at the, the far right side. Now, <clears throat> I have been printing a lot with uh, ABS, and I really like the stickiness of ABS, and I'm finding I'm getting higher quality prints with the ABS than I was getting with the PLA. Uh, now, the components of my printer are all printed with PLA. I bought them on uh, eBay uh, last year, and what I found is that when I did a lot of printing with ABS on a printer made of PLA, uh, the heat soak of the extruder um, began to melt the X carriage. So one of the key modifications that I've made to the printer is I used some of the Y carriage bearing mounts here, you can see, and then a uh, piece of aluminum, and then I custom milled a bracket, an aluminum bracket, to retain the extruder. And this has been working quite well for me. Now, I've recently had the extruder clogged to the point where I couldn't clear it on the machine. So I'm in the process of um, taking that apart and, uh, and cleaning that up. The other modification that I've made to the printer compared to the uh, set of parts that I originally purchased on eBay was to buy a uh, Greg's Wade's accessible extruder drive. Uh, this makes changing filament and repairing or cleaning rather. Sometimes what happens is the filament gets jammed and the uh, the hobbed bolt gets loaded up with plastic right in there and uh, you have to open it all up and you have to scrape the plastic out of the hobbed bolt with uh, a sharp object. Um, and this makes that process a lot easier. It also makes uh, attempting to clean clogs a lot easier. Sometimes you can just heat it up and then pull the filament out and pull whatever gunk is in there that's clogging the extruder up out through the top. This doesn't always work, but uh, it's, it's always worth trying before you disassemble and, and clean the whole thing. The other modification that I think is really critical is a Z-axis micro-adjustable stop. Um, this was a fairly simple part that I found on Thingiverse and printed out and uh, put my optical stop on it with uh, the springs and the knobs and this makes adjusting zero much more easily. I just set it with a piece of paper and usually it takes one or two iterations to get things uh, um, uh, hit the Z home button and then slide the paper in and out and uh, you, you just basically want a loose fit with a standard piece of paper for ABS on the heated mirror. I found with PLA I wanted a little bit tighter uh, um, uh, 
uh, clearance there. I wanted the PLA to be a little smushed down against the glass a little bit uh, harder. Um, and this, this micro-adjustable uh, uh, end stop made things a lot. The final mod is this marble, uh, I think it's uh, a stone for kneading dough in the kitchen. Um, it's just a marble plate about two feet by 18 inches and the machine is attached to it with double sticky tape and this holds everything absolutely square. The Prusa Mendel frame is a little bit flexible as it is and by attaching it to this marble base it, it provides a very solid base. Things do not change. I can move the printer without having to to re-level the bed and uh, um, it, it adds mass to the whole thing and makes it more repeatable. It's, it's a very simple mod but uh, I think it's one that's that's made this a, a better print. Finally, a fan on the uh, Arduino controller board is really important. The heat sinks are quite small, uh, and uh, blowing air directly on them um, definitely improves the performance of the machine. This is a full-size muffin fan that I'm running at 5 volts, so it's uh, nice and quiet, and it seems to do the job very well. In general, I've been very happy with the Prusa Mendel design. This is the version 2. Uh, though I think the next printer I build, I'm going to do the iteration 3, which is the one with the um, uh, aluminum panel that uh, supports the x-axis. Uh, it has some uh, rigidity improvements, and I do have a CNC milling machine, so it's going to be trivial for me to make those parts. Um, this is Jake Von Flat. Thank you very much. See you next time.